Welcome to the After Dive tutorial. During the following tutorial, we will show you some final steps which we applied to accomplish the Ships of Darkness. In 2006, at the time of first editing Ships of Darkness, we could rely on the following applications, Final Cut Pro and Shake. Now, the new version of Final Cut Studio 2 gives you some more tools. In 2006, we solely used Shake to resolve some of these issues, but in this tutorial you will learn how to use Motion and Shake for the same kind of jobs. This film was edited using the HDV codec. However, in 2008, I wouldn't recommend this for new projects edited in Final Cut Pro 6 because of the long processing time. If you can afford a fast and huge disk system, you may choose the new Apple ProRes 422 codec. Although it consumes much more space on your disk, this new optimized codec can save significant processing time during rendering in Final Cut Pro, or later on during transcoding for the MPEG-2 codec or other codecs. In this tutorial, we won't go into details how to use these applications. We will focus on representing how to solve the problems of a clip or how to enrich the pictures. We will follow the steps as they were made. It could have been shortened, but our intention was to give an impression of how much time was needed to finish these tasks. That's why we recorded the trial and error steps as well. These are not the only ways to get the envisaged picture. These are just examples of how we got them. Feel free to explore the possibilities. In order to learn the basics of these applications, we recommend the tutorials of the Ripple Training, the Mac Pro Video, and the Gnomon Workshop. Moreover, you can find an excellent tutorial collection and a very friendly community on the Internet at the Creative Cow Forums. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is the following. Task 1. Give a special look to a shot. We will use Final Cut Pro's Color Corrector 3-Way Filter to reach this goal. Task 2. Remove Camera Shake. We will use Shake's Smooth Cam node to complete this task. Task 3. Slow down and stop a selected clip. We will use Motion's Optical Flow Retiming feature and the Set Speed Behavior to solve this job. Task 4. Retouch the moving pictures. This is the most complicated task. We will remove a diver from a shot. Before doing that, we have to slow down the clip and stabilize it. We will use motion and shake. In shake, there are several ways to remove unwanted parts from a frame. We will use two different methods. Task 5. Prepare for the final output. We will create a new nested sequence where the three main parts of the film will be assembled. After this, we will apply the broadcast safe filter and a widescreen mat. So, let's start the work.